Hello and welcome to a video taking a look at trial and improvement. Here we have the equation x cubed minus 4x is equal to 9 has a solution between 2 and 3. Use a trial and improvement method to find this solution. Give your answer to one decimal place. You must show all of your work in. So a really important sentence here is this part here where it says you must show all of your work in. Now in order to pick up all four of these marks we're going to start by drawing a table. And the table will have three columns. In these columns we'll have x, so what numbers are we going to choose to put into our equation. We're going to have our working out or our answer and then we're going to have a comment. So it tells us that we have a solution between 2 and 3 so I'm going to start off by substituting the numbers 2 and 3 into this equation. So I'm going to start off 2 cubed minus 4 times 2 and we'll put that in brackets. 2 cubed is 8 minus 4 times 2 that gives us an answer of 0. We need it to equal 9 so we can say here that it is too small. Now let's substitute 3 in. 3 cubed gives us 27 minus uh, minus 4 times 3. <clears throat> so 27 minus 12 that's going to give us an answer of 15. So here we can see that that answer is too large. So we'll just put big in our comment box. So what we now need to do is we need to make a decision about what number we are now going to choose. Um, so what I would suggest here is to go for um, about maybe 2.7. I don't know what that's going to come out as, but we'll, we'll try the number 2.7 because I would say that um, it looks like it's closer to 3 than it is to 2. So let's substitute 2.7 into this equation. So 2.7 cubed minus... 4 times 2.7 and that is going to be equal to uh, so let's just input that into our calculator uh, 2.7 cubed minus and then in brackets 4 times 2.7 and that gives us an answer of 8.883 so we'll just call that 8.9 so that looks a pretty um, good answer. Let's just check to see if 2.8 is too big or not. Um, so we'll substitute in 2.8 cubed minus uh, 4 times 2.8 into our working box. Now let's just put that onto our calculator and see what comes up. So let's just uh, change 2.7 to 2.8 and see what happens now. That gives us an answer of 10.752. So we'll just call that 10.8. So oh, we forgot to make a comment here. We could say this is too small. This one here is too big. So we've now trapped our answer between two numbers. We've got it between 2.7 and 2.8. It's going to be one of those answers we need to figure out which one of those it's going to be. So the way in which we do this is we take the number halfway between 2.7 and 2.8 which is 2.75. So we substitute that value in. So put 2.75 cubed minus 2. Point, sorry, minus 4 times 2.75 And that gives us an answer of, so let's just put that into our calculator like we did a moment ago. So I've changed the 2.8 to 2.75. Change the other one to 2.75. See what this comes out as. This comes out as 9.79, which we can just call 9.8. And that is still too big. So now let's draw up a little diagram to represent what we're doing here. So 
we've got a diagram here at one end we've got 2.7 and 2.7 was too small then we've got 2.8 up the other end that was too big and in the middle we've got 2.75 and that was too big so 2.7 at one end, 2.8 at the other, 2.75 in the middle so what we could say is that because 2.8 was too big and because 2.75 was too big that our answer is going to be somewhere in between 2.75 and 2.7 which means that it will be closer to 2.7 than it is to 2.8 so our answer to one decimal place will simply be 2.7 um, let's quickly go over what we would get marks for in a GCSE exam. So you would get two marks for correctly evaluating um, two values between two and three. So this bit here gets us two marks. We would get a third mark for this um, value in between 2.7 and 2.8. And then we would get our final fourth mark for a correct decision. Just to reiterate here, you do not get any marks just for writing down 2.7 because it asks you to show all of your working. If you were just to write 2.7 in this box here without any of this, you would get zero marks.